What's up guys, this is Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to give you guys a quick update on Tesla spy and overall market but just note that I am not a financial planner so take nothing I say as financial advice and also if you guys can please check out my Weeble link if you deposit any amount of money you're guaranteed 12 free stocks if you deposit $500 you're guaranteed 20 in total if you deposit $25,000 or more and you're guaranteed 75 so for in just about 13 days from now anyways now let's talk about the market so as far as Tesla goes, we're doing a good job at holding up thus far. We're seeing a lot of choppy price action because of the fact that we got some negative news about the NHTSA and also because the market, or at least Tesla, is not really expecting a whole lot until we get earnings next week. So that's the reason why it's quite choppy. I do expect a big move, though. Uh, it is possibly trying to push closer to 222.8. It could push a little bit higher, but very, very slowly as you approach our 20 EMA. But there's not really a whole lot else going on with it. Now, for the broader markets, there's not really much happening. We just had Boston giving a speech alongside a couple of these other Fed speakers. Uh, but there's nothing too crazy right now, right? It's just a couple of Fed speakers. The market's waiting for, uh, you know, more of the Fed speakers next week and some data. But it's all very, very minor. Uh, as far as SPY goes, we remain very bullish so far. So we're riding our 20 EMA very nicely. We bounced off this, bounced off this, bounced off this. I said to turn bearish, you want to see this lose 581.85. We have not lost key support and we're actually holding up very well. So, so far, the bulls have a bigger edge. We're approaching all-time highs, which is what I predicted would likely happen, and that was correct. So, with that happening, and as we're very, very close to, to those all-time highs, I just want to say that this is going to be very, very key for the way things end up developing. Uh, I think that we're at a tough resistance, so we'll be kind of patient here, but simultaneously, we are favoring upside again. So, we could attempt to go a little bit higher from here, but we'll have to be very patient and very careful as we have 586 and 587 as tough resist resistance areas. So we'll see how it goes, but we still remain a little bit more bullish and we could attempt to get to all-time highs again. On ES, we're riding our 20 EMA very nicely. As long as we don't lose 5889, we favor upside and we could be looking for a retest of all-time highs. 5920 is a strong possibility. We remain more bullish. Bitcoin's also more bullish. We broke past 68,000. I mentioned that 68,000 should be tested. We actually broke past that. So now we're getting close to 69,000. My next target would be 70,000 if that breaks. But as of right now, we are kind of like fighting at 69,000. It's a tough resistance, but I think we will break it and get closer to 70,000. Bitcoin remains more bullish, in my opinion. For others out there, we have NVIDIA, which is kind of choppy right now, not really doing much today as it's a Friday. If we hold above 138, we could be looking for 140 next week. If not, 135 will be retested. I do have a feeling 135 might be retested, but once again, it's not really that big of a deal. It's still holding up quite well. For NQ, we need to try to hold above 20,400. As long as we hold above that, we're looking for a target of 20,000. Uh, uh, 20,500 is what we're fighting as resistance. And above that, we have 20,600. So I want to call out that on NQ, we had a high up here. We came down at a lower high. So are we about to make a lower high again and reject? Or are we about to break the high? Let's see if we could break past 20,600 or not. As of right now, we look more bullish. and looks like we might get closer to that level. So we still favor upside, but just be careful because of the trend. The same thing is going on with the QQQ. We have we had this high up here. We came down, made a lower high, came down. Are we about to make a lower high and reject? Or are we about to start breaking out from here? I think the chart looks more bullish for the time being. So we're favoring 496 to be retested. But we'll see if the high is broken or not. If it does not break, this could reject. So just be very careful. Uh, Apple remains more bullish. We do have this gap down here to fill. So if we were to lose uh, 234, I would be looking for that gap fill back down to 232. And we still look bullish on an uptrend holding our 20 EMAs nicely. So we could be pushing for about 236. So give this the time that it needs. For Netflix, we're looking more bullish. We're pushing up very, very nicely. We're doing a good job thus far. Um, we've managed to break 736. So the chart is now favoring 730, uh, 765 and then eventually higher than that. We broke out very, very nicely after we got a bullish earnings. So great job by Netflix and for those who are playing it. The IWM is looking a little bit weaker here. We could dip close to 225 if that fails. It's looking for 224.4. It could be a small dip coming as it's just consolidating a bit, but then it could bounce again and run later on. So it's just a temporary thing. Coinbase looks more bullish. As it's breaking out with Bitcoin, we got some bullish news that came out. Uh, we're looking for basically 220 as our target. If that breaks, we're looking for 222.5. But nonetheless, we look more bullish. Amazon's looking more bullish. As long as we're above 190, I do favor this imbalance filter towards 191 and eventually higher levels. So the one, 191s are likely coming. If we lose 190, they'll look for 189 as support, but this is favoring 191. For Meta, we look like we're just kind of consolidating right over here. So we have basically 
580 is our resistance and then supports all the way down here around the 576 area. So we're kind of choppy right now. I think we could dip a little bit closer to about 576, but overall we're doing a pretty good job. For Microsoft, we're also very, very choppy. It's not really doing much. We could push for 418. Otherwise, we're still stuck in the middle. Google is also stuck in the middle. We could push closer to about the higher 165s, but I do see a lot of chop most likely continuing. So that's what I'm viewing, at least for the time being, for the markets. Also know that as Netflix is breaking out right now, um, uh, we remain bullish, especially going into next week. It could still go higher with this momentum, but the higher we go, just know it's a little bit more risky. So just keep that in mind. But that's it for my quick update. The market remains bullish. Uh, I was talking about this in my morning video as we had a lot of puts expiring. And, you know, the market only has an hour left or maybe less than that by the time I upload this video. So, so far, the bulls have the bigger edge. And that's, you know, what the chart suggests. So we can't really fight the trend here. We just have to be honest. Uh, so with that being said, I'll be back in a couple of hours for another update. Until then, have a great day, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. And I'll be back in just a few hours for one more final update to give you guys a preview of the weekend. And not to mention next week. All right. So thank you for listening and peace out.